Today I'm going to be making a cappuccino using the Brivel Nespresso, Creatista plus coffee and espresso machine. That's a lot to say. Let's get started. So the first I'm going to go through the selection, different types of coffee, espresso, lunjo, flat white, cafe, cappuccino, that's what I'm going to make, but it also can make a latte and macchiato. So let's get back to cappuccino, press the selection. And what I'm doing right here is I'm selecting the temperature. Uh, I could make it hotter or the ideal temperature for a cappuccino. And that's what I'm going to select. I can also select how much milk froth that I want to make. So I turn the knob into the amount of milk that I'm going to add to the frother container. And then I can also tell the machine what size cappuccino I want as far as the coffee that's going to go in the cup. Once I make the selection, select that, put the Nespresso cup inside of the machine, close it, and press the start button. Now make sure you press the start button like this, and within seconds, coffee starts coming out of the machine. It comes out slowly comes out with a creamy, smooth texture dripping inside of the cup. After a few seconds, the coffee is made, and now it's time to make the milk froth. Right now, I'm going to be using almond milk instead of whole milk, because it's what I have. So I'll put it in, press start, and the frothing begins just like that. It's going to take a couple of seconds, probably like 30 seconds or so. But as it begins to froth, the milk heats up, and the frothiness starts to froth. Does that make sense? Once it's done, remove it from the frothing. And then wipe the spigot. It also shoots out some water to clean out the spigot. And that's when I pour the milk froth into the cup. First, I pour the liquid inside of the cup. And as it comes to the end, the froth comes in to the cup. And I can make my cool design using a chopstick or a butter knife or whatever you have. So I'll go ahead and do that. Swiggly line. And I try to get creative but I'm not really that creative, so it ends up looking like this.